Welcome and hello to another video with me Rufus Gazelle and today we're going to try and bag ourselves a tricky trig. It's not tricky in a sense that it's hard to find. I've literally had to park on the entrance to that quarry. It's the only safe place to park and I've got to walk down this road. Same scenario as the one we did at Bovington down at Clouds Hill. I've got to walk along this road. That's the only way I can get to this trig. The trig is literally on the side of the road. It's not on a tumuli, it's not on a hill, it's not even near a footpath. It literally is on the side of the road. And I've looked up and down trying to find a safe place to park. And the quarry entrance is the only sort of lay by that I can get into. It's the closest lay by to the trig, which hopefully is just down here. But not to say it's not the safest place in the world to try and. Uh, get to. What I didn't take into consideration with these last two trigs is the fact that they are right next to a main road and busy main roads and that's the problem we've got. It's not getting to them it's just the safety aspect of it. But here's the trig here on the side of this road. I'm just going to wait for all this traffic to pass. As you can see it's very very busy and I've got a coach coming the other way hurtling down. Actually I've got two coaches hurtling down this way but the trig point is literally right here behind me on the side of this road so we're gonna vlog it in a minute for you and let's just wait for a nice calm window to be able to do it in. So this is the trig point at Stokeford 6205. There's a bit of a ditch down there so I can't really get all the way across. As we take a closer look guys you can see that it's got some vines crawling up the side and on top. We have obviously the anchor points no plug in this one, you can see the ferrule where the fjordalite goes in, um, but no plug. If we take a look at the flush bracket, if I can get down it, while we've got a window without no traffic, the flush bracket reads Sierra 6039. That's 6039. And there we have it, guys. I can't do more than that with this one. I mean, I've got a quiet window at the moment with no traffic, but you can't really see much more than that. It literally is right next to the quarry where the trucks go up and down and this main road and this trick point literally is in a gully in the hedge so just be careful like this crane coming down now as we move away from Wareham here on the map we can see Bovington camp and then right bang in the middle we can see our location here at Stokeford you can see the trick point right next to my location on the side of the road a very very busy road indeed the trick point 6205 is 47 meters above sea level. Can't really do too much with this trig point today. I've shown you it, it's on the side of the road. Not much of an adventure because we haven't had to walk very far. But like I said, just plan it at the right time. I've come down here on a Friday and obviously there's a lot of heavy plant crossing today. Caravans, cranes, tractors, you name it. They've all come down here, tipper trucks. You've just got to be so careful and keep out of the way when something big does come down like this truck which is coming down now. As you can see, danger. Heavy plant crossing at the sand quarry here. You've got Wareham in that direction and you've got Bovington literally in that direction. We're sort of in between the two down here. I have to admit, this isn't quite how I wanted to end the day. We bagged five trick points today and this being the last one. I didn't really want to end it on this sour note because it wasn't really adventurous in any way. There was no scenic views. It literally was on just on the side of the road, like we can see next to the sands and quarry pits that are around us. Not the ideal location to end a vlog and a day of trick point bagging. I've got to go and move the car because where I'm positioned is right on the entrance to the quarry and sometimes the trucks turn right into the quarry and with my car there it makes it a little bit difficult for them so I'm just going to go back and move it out of their way and I think we might have another one coming in in a minute I better get out the road quick because this truck is mega mega big right all clear car's just here I just want to get out of here and go somewhere a little bit less, I don't know, busy, a bit less operational, which is what this quarry is. They call it the master's quarry. 
and we're parked right outside, literally, right outside it. Not an ideal place to park, but the only place I could find that was in relative safety to where the trig point was and the closest point to the trig point. So we're gonna move from here so we can end the vlog a little bit more respectively. I'm not gonna lie, I'm shattered. Five trig points we have bagged today, five. Even though they've been recorded over five separate videos, I can tell you now for sure, it was all done in one day. So we started off this morning at Gore's Heath, just up the road from Sanford, where we bagged our first trig. And then we went over to Woodbury Hill, near Beer Regis for our second trig. That was quite adventurous. Then we went down to Wareham Forest for our third trig at Wool's Barrow Camp, on top of the fort there. From Wareham Forest, we then went all the way down to Bovington, Clouds Hill, where we got the trig at Wool's Camp. That was a bit of a hike up the road. And then down to here at Stokeford for this roadside trig, which was quite dangerous next to the quarry and the stress of walking on the road and jumping up onto the embankment, dodging the trucks, dodging the tractors. It's just, it's just been exhausting, I'm not gonna lie. It's been one of those days but I'm glad we managed to do all these trigs in one day, this being the last one here at Stokeford. I thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure to make these five videos. Some of them might have seemed rushed because we were running out of battery. Some of them might have come across as a bit sort of all over the place, trying to find it, getting a little bit lost at times, but we, uh, we got there in the end. I will see you all very soon in the next video. Please come back and thank you again so much vlog just waiting for that car to go past vlog over